RNIB, supporting blind and partially sighted people. Making TV catch-up and on-demand services more usable for people with sight loss. I'm John Payton and I work at RNIB looking at the accessibility of digital television and online players. To make online players accessible for blind and partially sighted people, one of the most important things you can do is to include audio description. Audio description is where you have a narrator describe any action that's happening on the screen for someone that can't see it. BBC iPlayer is the first online player to support audio description, and you can get around it using a screen reader. There are still a few tweaks that can be done though, just to make that experience a bit better for the user. My name is Tony Avery, so I'm age 52 and I am registered blind. I, I use uh, JAWS, which is a screen reader, um, and it helps me navigate around the internet. There are many issues uh, for uh, delivering online content. Sometimes my screen reader will not be able to access those buttons that will allow me to play the video content. Screen readers are great, but they can only work with the information you give them. So if an error message comes up and it's not available to the screen reader, then it won't be available to the user. So on here, if you go through the screen reader, it's embedded object. it just calls it an embedded object. And you'll go right down to the bottom of the screen before you have to come back up and try that to see if that was actually the player in the first place. My name's Liam O'Carroll. I'm 41. I'm totally blind. And I'm an actor, writer, stand-up comic. Catch-up is available uh, on the TV broadcasters' sites, whereas the on-demand stuff is on other websites for things like film. So they're non-broadcasted, more privately produced things. Currently there is a, a number of players uh, that are uh, accessible, but um, do not carry audio description at present. So with audio description on TV, um, and then on, online on the catch-up, um, it's brilliant in theory and very often in practice, but there are still problems that recur, such as um, you'll download it on off the catch-up and you'll get a lot of buffering. Another problem you'll get is the soundtrack is, is too loud and is drowning out the actual describer's voice. Uh, the websites for the catch-up, they do get overhauled every now and then, so things change. For example, at the moment, I, I can't seem to find a pause button. I'm not saying it's not there, just can't find it. For blind people, the best thing you can do is to make sure your interface can be navigated by audio and get blind people in for user testing. My wish list for improving the services, uh, there needs to be a real undertaking on the part of all the providers, uh, the importance of understanding how screen reader software works so that you can use those shortcut keys to locate things quickly and easily. Keyboard shortcuts are ways to navigate the computer without having to use a mouse. So for an online player, you could use spacebar to play and pause the video, or you could have a combination of keys to get you straight to the video without having to go through the menu system. They could perhaps embed a generic player across all platforms um, that people can just get in there and use it. We don't want fancy buttons, we don't want fancy graphics, we just want something we can use. RNIB, supporting blind and partially sighted people. Copyright of RNIB, April 2012. Registered charity number 226227.